Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Love Craft Forever, Natalia with you. This video review today will be from DIY Digital Art. I do love to receive product from DIY Digital Art because it's always something different. It's always multi-purpose craft, like it's uh, not just um, can be or diamond painting or craft stitch, but also some different stuff that maybe other store doesn't have and that's what makes this store unique and I really really like it. Plus the price up there is also really good I would say to compare with different stores uh, prices in the DIY digital art pretty good. So let's see what we have in here and first uh, we will start from this box. Now in very long time ago I did review of this kind of product and I absolutely love it. I have one like this in teal kind of green or blue teal kind of color. This one in pink and this is a great great tool to basically for many different things we can have lots of settings in here you can see what if i can st stay uh, straight like this we have one two three four five six oh you know what the one that i have let me show you i think it's a little bit different or isn't um I thought I have, I have like like this one. Let me see how many settings in here. One, two, three, four, five, or oh, six as well. For some reason, I did not see the very uh, last one that make it almost flat, uh, which is wonderful. I like this one. Usually, I use. Um, this is my kind of like a regular settings on number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. A uh, number five because uh, I like. Uh, first of all, I always uh, keep this to charge my cell phone, for example. And this is great way to actually for your iPad or Galaxy, whatever you have, because it holds really nice uh, to charge. And not only this way for for one uh, your. Um, gadget also it's work for both of them actually this uh, extension here good enough to hold your ipad and cell phone and sometimes that's how i put them to charge now when i use uh, you know i have this digital program that i use my ipad for um, cross stitching so when i use it's a very awesome way to display would be display it would be so much easier to cross stitch if you're using a digital program for your cross stitching so th this is i i love it now if you do cross stitch and you use an count at cross stitch this is a great way to hold your pattern uh paper so you can have uh, and comfortable to stitch to count your stitches also, if you like to read books, you can put your book inside. And if, for example, we can put this box, let's pretend this is book, it, it's amazing. Because it will hold, you don't have to hold book in your hands. And you can also, well, let's say you are watching my video, right? And you're doing a diamond painting or cross stitching, well, put the iPad with my YouTube channel. You can enjoy watching me chit chatting with you and at the same time you're doing your own craft uh, maybe you like to listen music so this is basically so many ways you can use this um, how do we call this uh, I, I can't remember right now what's uh, on um, on a website uh, in names but uh, let's just say ipad stand or 
well anything you can you can even display your finished project on it if temporarily maybe some frame even so i do love it and i love the way that it has multi uh multi position multi position so it's really really comfortable my, my favorite as i say it's usually number five this one i didn't even realize i do have a number six but it's like it's very very low if you're afraid maybe flip something or that's the position you like to use it so this is awesome cool, uh, tool and as you can see we have them i think there's also have in black color uh, i i do not remember if this particular store have uh, but they also have this uh, soft uh, material in here so it doesn't scratch if it's hold your iPad. This is soft like a foam cushions on each corner for a soft support of your device. So this is one of the products that I truly love it and I'm using every single day. It stays next to me and like I say, if I don't use for, um, especially when I do count at cross stitch, I use that all the time for my iPad. Other than that, it always stays next to my TV and a fireplace as a holding device to charge my um, devices. Now, next, what I have in here is this cute diamond painting tray. I remember I ordered this once, but I cannot remember from where, but I never received. I don't know what happened to the package. And so I thought, okay, let me try one more time because it looks interesting. And this is, looks like a double tray. And I like because it has a lid. So it's kind of like a two in one. And at the same time, oh, that, that's so neat. This is like a leaf extension create... Um, opening to put your diamonds back into the ziplock bag or tray these grids are really visible they are like it's good sticking out so the diamonds will be holding in them i think pretty good good size the only thing what what i think this side that is like right the last line in here kind of end up very close to the border so your diamonds could stack up there and not not slide down so you will have to tap it to get them out uh, the other side yeah no this side is open and this side go a little bit close to the plastic so it might your diamonds will stack up there how about the other side the other side both of them good open you can see that it's up it's really reflecting i don't know oh see it's kind of open and the other side open as well so it could be maybe diamonds will be holding here but that's not big deal you just tap it slightly it will be fall out uh, but what's interesting about this that you can have if you have a uh, diamonds on one tray uh, no smaller one is a uh, bottom and bigger one is a top so if you have your diamonds in here you can close and keep this as your storage for diamonds but make sure to put here something so your diamonds doesn't spill accidentally so you need some kind of protection here but it definitely interesting shape uh, and in my next you know diamond painting whatever we will do uh, I will test it out and see how this tray holding diamonds, if the easy separation of the diamonds and if this um, grid's big enough and how square or round diamonds will hold. But I like the shape, I like the concept. It's something different, just your regular green or white tray. So it's always fun to have something that is different that we use in for three, four, five, five years in a row, right? So that's a something for you to look and in a tool section, of course, everything will be with the link provided under my video. Now what I have in here, uh, I do have, let me show you, let's do right now, I have a one cross stitch in here. Now the cross stitch, you know that before I told you 
that I don't really um, support this brand because the it's like a, it's a no brand and not everything I like about this and first of all uh, before when we did with you review as you can see this design on printed are so poorly that we barely can see actual design so I will insert picture for you I already save it um, I snapped a picture from the website so I will insert for you to see the actual picture how this look like now the other thing that I did not like that this because this is obviously this is counted stitching and I did purchase counted I knew that this will be counted because I really love this design even you when you see the picture it's so beautiful uh, but of course the symbols in here of this pattern is very like it's not very good it's still small I have to say that it's a little bit better than I see before maybe squares a little bit bigger but it's still very very tiny and i did try to find this design in the digital version so i can use my ipad to use as a counted cross stitch no luck yet did not find it but it is gorgeous so not sure if design in here um, if we look on this pattern because there's nowhere else to see because it's a clean canvas um if i can uh, okay let me show you size of this fabric this is the size of this fabric if i can open this design and put on the top of this fabric I don't know if this will fit this design or not because um, I believe this is 14 count Ada and the squares of this design is maybe even smaller than in here and if you look in here it's go like almost to the edge so now i really concerned if this will fit on this piece of fabric i love the piece of piece of fabric it is a stitch edges so it's not gonna fray but i will, will really have to count to see how many stitches in here because um what we have in here 70 by 28 centimeters size which is 353 by 122 okay so maybe enough i feel like this design kind of even bigger so i'm not sure we have to i have to count and check later with you back maybe uh but what we have in here kit like this usually we have usually we have lots of tools with them we have one spool for your threads i don't know one what you're gonna do with one uh we have a threader that's one of my favorites i love those threaders we have a finger ring to help you with the needles which i still did not figure out how to use it for me it's i cannot find a comfortable spot to use i don't know if any of you use this rings for your needle let me know your secret how do you use it that it's comfortable for you to hold the needle with it i try even in the middle because i'm using needle with these two fingers right but it's always um i don't know i did not find yet how to work with it and of course in here we have five needles five needles okay so that's the toolkit now let's see what kind of threads in here and if i can ever find this design maybe in different um brand i knew it's going to be in this kind of brand but there's deep down <laughs> my finger were, was crossed that it's going to be different brand not this one 
Uh, I was hoping maybe Joy Sunday, but uh, nope, <laughs> not Joy Sunday. I still like this picture and I will try to look harder, see if I can find a different um, design. Wow, birds outside chirping so loud. You can tell the summer's coming. Okay, now the threads. Let's see what kind of threads we have in here. Threads usually very good quality in here. I cannot say nothing bad about threads because I already stitched with them and they are pretty good and, and there's there's no nothing to say. So here's this big chunk of kind of like a half. What is this? 3865 extra threads and let's untangle and see all the colors that come with it. Okay, so that's a lot of threads in here, I have to say. And here is our first palette of thread, which is beautiful. Uh, threads, you can tell, they, they look silky, they look nice and soft. I, I do love the quality of the threads, for now, anyway. Uh, I have to say that between this green and this brown, I feel right away, because usually brown and black threads, actually, I do have a black in here. No, this this black uh, on a touch much better than I used to have before, which even this black better than this brown because this brown feels dry. It's not silky, so in my opinion and my experience, these threads will be tangled up much more easier. And way to help you is to use beeswax to wax them first and I already show you many times in my video even show you how to wax to make a proper way and here is the other side of the threads which in here we have some reds and more blues this is really kind of a little bit messy how they put in here that's okay I will fix it later so threads in here uh, looks okay I think this only just this brown kind of feel dry how about this one brown not this brown good no ju just just this dark one feels different than from the other one so yeah it's it's satisfying looks good all right and there's a little bit more in here okay so yes uh, I, I knew what i'm ordering but deep down i was hoping this will be different brand oh well if i can find digital design of this uh, cross stitch to stitch at least i will have all threads already ready for me to start on let me know if some of you own this uh, maybe from original company this design of this uh, kind of like a town it's like you know we stitch with you european town so this is like another town beautiful beautiful town all right so this is what we have in cross stitch and now for those who like different craft lots of squeak sorry now I have a two packages in here with the molds. Silicone molds and since it's get a little bit warmer, I will be working a lot. And I also will try to insert picture of design what we will have with this. Oh my goodness, okay, sorry, it's so squeaky. Okay now what this be what's beautiful about this design now let me check first okay this is really really soft resin but did not damage it's actually all the line i know if i go more close it will my camera will go after focus but um you can see that there's extensions in here one two three four five and three on the bottom they will create holes uh, after you mold so because it's a soft kind of uh, mold soft um, silicone i would recommend not to pour all the way full put 
first layer on the bottom to cover all bottom that way it will grab walls of the resin to keep them together for your next pour of the resin and it's not gonna be flipping to the sides because resin will push because it's a little bit heavy right so make a first layer whatever you design put some maybe dry flowers glitter sequins um, whatever you want leaves flowers and, and then let uh, seal and then you put top coat of resin and it will seal nicely and hold shape proper way so this is the moon and this is supposed to be for the it's like a wind charm for kids bedroom because we have in here what we have in here uh hold on there's some plastic inside in here okay this is just the excess of resin a little bit not resin silicone uh the way they um cut i guess so there's a different shapes in here you can see the star the moon the circles and uh, half circles different different shape it's like a planets maybe uh, with the two holes and because one hole that you can put connect this and here and then um, you have this here fishing line in here which calls strong and, and stretchy stre oh stretchy strong and stretchy stretchy is that, is that the stretchy am i reading right um uh, crystalline size 0 0.25 and it's a hundred hundred percent whatever in chinese language says okay so this is the one to connect your this holes that will be um, we need something maybe box just a minute because white on white it's not showing very well so we will use this box there you go now we will see we can see all these holes that will be here another two holes in each of these designs they will be connect from here to here and from here you can connect your other piece and go on maybe on the very bottom because like you connect one to here one to here and then on the bottom you can connect some uh, gems some other pieces that can hang and make a, um well no actually not because in here we have no all good we have one two three four five six seven eight of them with two holes and then we have one two three that have just one hole this shape so you can create more of this shape to put on the edge as a hanging dingle or this one you can put like one and two so it's like a two or three of them hanging so that's making sense uh, obviously you can see more on a picture uh, I will try also insert the picture for this design and the fishing line to connect them all together and when your little kid sleeping uh he can watch how this piece is moving at the same time you can put this uh, on the top of your window maybe and when you add some glitters and sparkles and when sun hit it will create beautiful design on your walls and your house and bring a piece of beauty into your environment okay so this is one of the molds that could be good for, for both for adult and for the child room maybe on the top of crib so little baby sleeping and watching this and then we have one more one more charm kind of in here we have a little bit different spool oh nice and holographic also says so uh basically same thing oh this one is 0 0.3 crystal strain so maybe different size of this spool here is what we have kind of beautiful cover in here uh, and then we have in here some beads in different sizes to to connect them 
Let's see. Oh, looks like a glass beads. Was that two sizes? One, two, I think in two, two different sizes, unless, no, I think it's two sizes in here. Okay. To create extra design. Okay, let's hope not to spill this all over the table. And design itself, what we have in here? There you go. This is just a um, circle, which also you can incorporate with the moon. You can, you can, uh, you can connect the other charms. You can connect these charms with the same moon, or maybe you have some other design that will hold all this kind of charms together. So let's see what we have. This one is very very thin much smaller kind of like a wind charm here's what we have in here very thin I don't know if I could say maybe like two three millimeters deep it's very flat uh, this piece a little bit deeper because it's going to be main thing probably to hold um, and well on the picture you will see more better idea how to put this together but also each of this have two two holes will be after you cure resin in here we have one two. on the center we have one two three four five holes to connect from that and uh, make another hanging um, design for your room for outdoors uh, and i think this is will be like it, it will cure so fast because it's not deep at all so we have a two shape of them one two three four five bigger and five smaller and of course center piece and already of course you can incorporate to the other one also this tiny pieces will be perfect to create earnings create bracelets create charm keychain so there's many uses could be done just from this one mold so i'm really looking forward to work with it and design something all right my friends uh, this is it this is it for this video review let me know what you think and do you have any favorites if you have any favorites do you have any of this product in your possession already and i would love to hear from you and uh, give me some comments thumbs up that will help to to get my video a little bit uh, rank higher on youtube platform every time your comments and likes matter very much so thank you for your support and love you all see you tomorrow